Let's talk cult status coats for your minimal wardrobe. As I'm in my 30s, I've been on a mission to buy less, wear more, downsize my wardrobe, really invest in pieces that are timeless. And I have got coats I'm going to share with you from my own collection, which fit in with the cult status, which I think are perfect for a minimal wardrobe. So I've worn an all black outfit as a base, uh, just so I can show off the coats. And let's get straight into it. Cult coat number one. This has to be the favourite coat, or let's call it cult jacket in my wardrobe, and it is an Acne Studios Myrtle Leather Jacket. It's oversized, it's perfection, the craftsmanship of Acne Studios leather jackets is just amazing. And I love this one that I have because it has all kind of quilted padding on the inside, so it's great for autumn and winter, it really does keep you warm. That's why I'd say it's more of a coat rather than a jacket just purely because it's so thick and luxurious and I really do think that they are worth the money. Second to none when it comes to Acme Studios leather jackets. I mean they're just one of my favourite designers anyway and just everything about this is utter perfection for me. I wear a size 38 and it normally retails for about £1,500. I will never need a leather jacket in my wardrobe again unless I wanted to add a second one in and go for like a more crop style but this pretty much is I'm just so in love with it. Absolutely obsessed. So my first cult jacket for your minimal wardrobe and if you're wanting to buy less, wear more, and maybe start adding some investment pieces to your collection, I would definitely recommend starting with an acne leather jacket. It can be worn smart, it can be worn casual. It will stand the test of time. This is literally going nowhere. I love, so I have to start with this jacket first. <laughs> coat reaching cult status of late is the Frankie Shop Teddy Jacket. Uh, it's been around in this army green colour maybe for a couple of years now and this season they've brought out so many colourways. We have the black, we have the kind of cream colour, we have a gorgeous brown I'm so tempted by but I don't know if I need two of the same jacket let me know in the comments below. But this is an oversized, I have an extra small small uh, but from other people's reviews I hear that the medium to large isn't much different. <laughs> both my mum and stepmom have both said you know that the label's still on the back of your coat. <laughs> like, it's, it's meant to be there. But I absolutely adore this coat. If you are a regular on my channel, you will know that I'm really into my oversized clothing. But also clothing that is comfortable and practical. I feel like my style personality sits within a natural and also a classic kind of function. So I love classic timeless pieces, but I also love things to be oversized, comfortable, love to be able to wear them dressed up, dressed down. But this jacket has cult status. There's quite a few places on the high street that have come out with some similar jackets that are a bit cheaper. This is about the £250 mark. So I will leave um, some high street alternatives. Also link down below. If you're not sure if this would be your vibe, I would say purchase a cheaper jacket first and if you get loads of wear out of it and then definitely invest in your wardrobe. So this will be coming out of seasons and seasons to come. Something else I'm chef's kiss obsessed with. Sticking on the quilted coat train, the next cult status coat for your minimal wardrobe is the Totem Annecy Quilted Coat. I wanted this last year and I missed out on it because it sold out really fast, but it seems to be stocked everywhere this year, so I've managed to get one myself. I have a size small. It is black, but I always think it comes up looking a little bit navy. Again, it's a thinly quilted jacket like the Frankie Shop jacket. It's actually a little bit more slimline, but it's so refined and chic and timeless. Minimal classic, everything that I want in a coat, especially a puff coat, because I know some people think puff coats are a little bit too casual or too bulky and chunky. You could get away with wearing this for the office. I would literally wear this with like a really smart outfit underneath for dinner and drinks as well. We don't have many poppers. We literally just have one popper here, which is quite discreet because I always think that poppers can sometimes ruin a jacket and make it look a little bit cheaper. So the fact it's so discreet, I'm absolutely obsessed. Just love all the detailing on this jacket, everything about it. We've got some lovely long line slits that move when you walk. We've got two pockets. I have a size small, but I will leave my sizings in the description box below and any recommendations on sizes to go with these coats. This falls in about the £500 mark. I have a Farfetch discount code that's applicable at the moment, 10% off, I'll leave that video linked, so you could use your 10% discount code on this 
they actually also stock the Frankie Shop teddy jacket in the cream and the brown that you can use my discount on as well but yeah another coat I'm so obsessed with really comfy really casual but also really smart as well so everything that I look for in a cult coat cult status coat number four is for me personally an Isabelle Morant wool coat but just think anything that is a double breasted coat Saint Laurent have some amazing ones so do say Acme Studios um, loads of places I think Totem have one as well but of course there's so many on the high street but I still have the tag on this one at the moment because it's too big I got a size 38 I'll pop it on for you and you guys let me know I think I need to size down to a 36 but I really wanted to include this within the video. As you'll notice, most of my coats are black, but I tend to kind of mainly wear dark colours, and especially in autumn, a long coat. I don't like when you're walking outside and if it's light, you just get splatters of dirt and mud all up your coat. So this is what the coat looks like on. The very oversized bit about this one is the shoulders, so it's given me very 80s power suit vibes. So I feel like I just want to size down one more size um, so it's not so big looking, but let me know what you think in the comments uh, below. And it's a very lightweight coat actually, so with all of these coats I'm showing with you, very appropriate for autumn, lots of layering. When it gets to winter I would pop underneath some thermals, or even a gilet, or a little like fleece just for an extra layer. Uh, but this is the vibe of this coat, but yeah, a cult coat for your minimal wardrobe has to be a wool or a cashmere coat, long line, double breasted, they're smart, they can be worn casual, these kind of coats look great as well, styled up with track suits and things like that. Um, so let me know if any of these coats you want separate styling videos for, um, or I can do it over on my Instagram at Charlotte Buttrick. So now would be a good time to mention you can follow me on Instagram at Charlotte Buttrick for more styling, minimal styling, classic fashion, neutral fashion, um, and also I would love if you just took the time to click subscribe, click the notification so you know when I upload new videos here on YouTube.